how many books do you think I've read on technical analysis, it just in general? I've been trading for about 10 years in the game now, came up from retail completely, no direction, lost, fumbled my way around. How many books do you think I've read on technical analysis? Well, I think this is probably a trick question. You're expecting me to say 30 to 50 or somewhere in there, but I think you're more clever and you. it seems like you've found your way and know what you're doing. So I'm going to guess two or three. Yeah, you're over here playing 5D chess, aren't you? Uh, up until recently. Well, that's what the market tells you to do, right? I mean, if you're going to have any success in the market, that's that's what you have to think. Mm. Up until recently, um, I've, I've probably thumbed through a bunch, but I've read one. Mm-hmm. And it was this book called Technical Analysis Using Multiple Timeframes. Oh, come on. <laughs> I swear. And, I, you know, I don't want to derail the conversation, so I hope this isn't a bad use of time, but I, I want to tell you the story. Your book was recommended to me. The, uh, the author of this book was Brian Shannon. And this was years ago. And the, the name meant nothing to me. I don't think I saw your face. I, I, I had no recollection of who you were. But I remember reading this mm-hmm. book and thinking, this is good. It goes way beyond what you would expect with technical analysis. This isn't a book about head and shoulders. or you know, This is a good book with like really deep understanding about how markets move. And, and uh, it was good. And uh, years later, this has been um, Matt, who books all the guests on the Speculators podcast, he said, Hey, we have this guest, Brian Shannon. And, uh, you know, he just wrote a book. He wants you to look at it. Da, da, da. I was like, okay, fine. You know, what's the book? Who, who's the guy? And he pulls up the book. And as soon as I saw it, I immediately knew what it was. Cause it's a very similar feel to your yeah. other book. Right. And it, it was this weird moment for me of all these dots being connected of just like these years apart of going from, I don't know who this guest is to that's Brian Shannon. And I, uh, in unaware to me, has been a very big fan of yours and appreciating of your material for a long time. And recently, uh, I've now you know started and getting through my second book on technical analysis. <laughs> so I'll say some things about this at the end because um, I, I actually really appreciate this book as well. And I think everybody listening to this will do themselves a favor by getting a copy of it. So I'd like to say some things about it later. But um, well, first, we, thank you for what you just said about my first. I'm truly honored, and mm. that's that's amazing. Um, why why haven't you read other books? I if I can just ask you a question. I know it's, it's your it's your your questions, but yeah, hey, 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 this is my podcast. <laughs> no. right. Um, yeah, when it comes to technical analysis, and I think coming from just kind of fumbling my way around through through trading, it was just so many things out there, and I just kind of looked at it like. Everybody who talks about this stuff just has no idea what they're talking about. It was just obvious to me. And I I didn't feel like there was somebody, your book was recommended to me, which is the only reason why Mm -hmm. I I would have picked it up. Because I think the book called Technical Analysis Using Multiple Timeframes, I probably wouldn't have wanted to listen to it or uh, read it, I should say. So yeah, I think it was, um, I've just been very skeptical and I, I think I'm very picky about who, and I don't think very many people I would look up to even write books. And if they do, they're not about technical analysis or something around that line um would be the answer okay yeah well cool thank you yeah no no thank you for uh for putting it together and if anybody else it it was also probably one of the most um expensive books i've ever i've ever purchased um has anybody ever told you or complained about your books being expensive sure Uh, you know what um writing a book is a lot of work Hmm. and i wasn't gonna do it and not get paid number one but the information in these books is a career of of you know experience. I've made every mistake in the book. That's why I know how to write about them. Um, and I've survived and I've thrived in the markets. And I think people you know look at a book and they say, "Well, this is a book. Books are twenty dollars. And if it's a mm-hmm. shitty book, it should be twenty dollars. But if it comes, you know, and, and I mean, the reviews are there and a couple of people have said that and, you know, people try to rip it off online and stuff like that. Um, I don't have a problem with that. One, you know, I started my career at Lehman Brothers. One of the best things I learned there is that, you know, when, when I would start first start cold calling and open accounts, they absolutely would not allow a discount on a commission. So I'd get the guy right to the end of the line. He'd say, well, what's the commission on that? So, so the commission is this. He goes, well, I, I never pay full retail. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna pay that. So, so we don't discount. We don't discount quality. And that drove that into my head. I'm not going to discount quality. I know this is good. If you don't like it, you know, return it. If you, if, you, if you like it, keep it. 
pass it on to a friend or whatever. Um, I I haven't gotten rich off the book. I mean, it, there's a limited audience for it as well, which is why I priced it there. It's it's like a you know it's like a textbook in college. Those those books are expensive too, but you're you're learning a lifelong skill, hopefully. <laughs>